Uh, to better understand why the sun gets angry, India to set up a massive solar telescope in Ladakh on November 1st, 2024. This is going to take place in Mirak village in Pangong, Su Lake, Ladakh. And uh, Pallabagla gets us this report. Dr. Anapurni, what is this National Large Solar Telescope? So, the uh, National Large Solar Telescope is a 2 meter class telescope to study the sun in grand detail. Now, what we don't understand is how these sunspots come together and, and group fo forms groups and then some of them gets into making these flares. Which and is this the is called solar storms. solar storms and the coronal mass ejections. So, in order to, the magnetic field in the sun plays a major role. And in order to understand that, we need to have a large collecting area and that helps in creating high resolution as well. So, you can actually see the dynamics within a, a sunspot system to actually understand the magnetic field and the dynamics over there. Why are, we, why are we setting it up on the banks of the Pangong So and we are standing on a finger, there is salt water all around us? Yeah, so as like Hanley, this is a similar height. So the height gives you very cl clear sky, very... India recently launched the space-based solar observatory Aditya. Was the National Large Solar Telescope to be the ground-based counterpart for Aditya, which is already giving us good results? You brought it out very, extremely well. Uh, when In 2012, when Aditya Alvin was proposed, this was also proposed as a ground-based backup facility, in the sense that you actually get the ground-based a high resolution images to actually com uh, uh, combine the images you get from the space. But unfortunately, this got delayed, but Aditya L1 has started functioning and we are getting the data from it already. But I think uh, still a ground based facility to give high resolution uh, data of the sun is extremely important because we have assets in space and we need to understand space with much better. So it's really important.